Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I just wanted to pop on here and show you my monthly memory page for September. This is in the Erin Condren Hourly Planner. And on the other side of September is just the monthly view. So in the hourly spread, they have a blank page in the very front of the month. And I like that for using my Polaroid zip, which is right here. And like looking back at August, this is what I did for August. I will leave the August video down below for you guys as well. Um, I like to use the zip to kind of just showcase some of the like memories or, you know, I like to showcase even the bad stuff, which you will see some in this video. Um, I also will leave a link for the Polaroid zip down below. I believe you can buy these still through erincondren.com. There is also a link for a $10 coupon code for erincondren.com if it's your first time you sign up. They'll send you a unique coupon code to your email, usually the same day, and then you can use that for your first purchase. And I will leave Amazon links below for the Polaroid zip as well as the like refills and stuff too, if you're interested, because obviously this takes like photo paper. So um, I am already in my Polaroid zip app. So I have preloaded some of the images that I like. I actually pre-did this uh -huh, in my August video. That one was way too long. So I figured with September, we'd streamline it a little bit. So we are gonna try to print this out. Obviously, I've been talking too long. So you just have to go into settings and have your Wi-Fi, or not your Wi-Fi, but your Bluetooth on, and then connect it. And now it's connected. I'll be able to go into my Polaroid Zip app and now I can print it. And then it will just come spitting out in just a moment. And while it is doing that, I am gonna get to cutting. Um, I like to use the collage portion of this. Um, the reason I like the collage a little bit better is because I feel like I get a little bit more kind of like bang for my buck, if you will. Just because, you know, the Polaroid Zip paper is a little bit more expensive. It's not like insane or anything, but since I'm using it so often every single month and I also use it for other things in my planner and things like that, um, I just wanna get, you know, my most use out of it. I don't know, it just makes more, more sense to me to do it that way. So yeah. But I am, oh, whoops, I forgot to turn this one. Oh, well. Oh, well, I'm still gonna use it because it's already printed out. Sometimes I forget to turn things when they're in the app. This one I forgot to turn. It's like super tiny. That's okay, though. So like I said, this month I'm just gonna print out the one for you just so you can kind of see how the app works. And um, I don't know, I really like it. I think it's a really nice contribution to your planner. I know that there are... Some people online, I'm pretty sure Jennifer Ross at Pretty Neat Living does this still, but she um, had a baby at the beginning of the year. And I don't know if it's every day or every week. She's done like her planner for Charlotte, which is her new baby. Um, and what she does is she actually puts like a picture of her every day in the planner and it's kind of, she, you know, she wants to use it as like a memory as well because, you know, when your kid is an infant, as people know, I mean, I'm not a mother, but I, I know that this happens. Um, the kids change every day, all day. Like they change so much in the way that they look and the way that they act and all of that. So yeah, I mean, she had such a great idea to do that. And um, I think that's just kind of a kind of a cool thing to have. And then, you know, she'll have it forever. And then, um, you know, she'll have that for Charlotte when Charlotte gets older as well, which will be kind of a cool thing. I'm trying to trim all the rest of these down so I can work on them. So at least I have all my images like done and ready to go for the month. All right, cool. All right, let's put this stuff aside because I don't need that any longer. And we will start kind of arranging how things are going to go. I kind of like to put things in chronological order, not always, just because, you know, whatever. Um, and do I want to, my question is, do I want to put some like strips in here? Maybe I should figure that out first. Yeah, let's put some strips in here. Why the heck? not. All right, so let's put this in. I'm like slowly losing my light today, you guys, too, so I apologize if the light kind of is coming in and out. Sorry about that. I kind of want to just use like these colors, just this like yellow 
and black. I think it's black, maybe it's a dark navy. I don't know, I can't tell you guys. Ah, no. Ugh, okay, Whew. all right, that was a close call, you guys, close call. And these little strips are from Design Pandemonium. I will link all the sticker shops that I'm using stickers from down below for you guys if you're interested. Um, oh wow, this one's like really long, whatever. I'm just gonna leave it down there because I'll probably end up covering it up anyways. So yeah, sometimes I like to do like little embellishments if it kind of matches or whatever. So yeah, so I know the first thing I wanna do is put this up at the very top. And this thing really sucks, but it's my layoff notice. And I kind of pulled out some things that I wanted to put in the planner. So I'm gonna put this little forklift right here. That's like the last of my little work icons. All right, and then right after that happened, um, I actually went to Minnesota because I was gonna go to the state fair with my mom. So um, these are all of the photos from that. And then I have a Minnesota state that I wanna put in as well. I think I'm gonna put in a yellow state because, you know, why not? We'll put that like right up here and we'll kind of put these in some sort of order. I don't know, whatever. So yeah, I was laid off at the very, very beginning of the month. Um, it actually happened, well, it was supposed to happen on the first and then I was sick. And then so <laughs> my boss had to apparently stay overnight in Fargo and then let me go the next day on a Friday. But um, yeah, I was like really sick. Um, but anyway, felt a lot better on Friday, but obviously it didn't work out well for me, but it's all right. I'm moving on and on to bigger and better things. And if you guys watch my channel, I've had lots of like life updates and things like that too. So if you're interested and curious about any of that stuff, just watch on, watch on. Okay. And I had like a bajillion and one dentist appointments. So I actually got myself a crown, which is right here. <laughs> it's like they actually made it there, which was like really kind of cool. And I had three dental appointments in, I don't know, a matter of two weeks. But I just wanted to get it all done before my insurance ran out. But I actually ended up doing like Cobra insurance through my old employer because um, Obamacare was a little bit too expensive. I had already made too much money that year or like in 2016. So yeah, that's okay though, but it all ended up working out. And okay, so I just wrote a dentist appointment. So that is good. I'll put that over there. And then the other fun thing is that I moved. So I'm gonna put like a bunch of moving things down here, ludicrous, and then Jackson, more moving. Okay, so Doyle dog stuff we will put over here. I got Doyle registered in the new place I am living, so that is good. So he is now registered, <laughs> fun fact. I'm usually like a totally by the book person, but I never ever got him registered in North Dakota. I don't know why, I just, I don't think I ever cared to get him registered, if you know what I mean. Like I was just kind of like, eh, eh. I'm not really here, but whatever. So yeah. Okay, so those are done. Oh, the dental appointment. I wanted to put in a funny, um, a funny face right here because it was really sad. And like my face hurt so bad, you guys. Like it was no joke. This was not a good time. Not a good time at all. But okay, let me find my moving stuff in here somewhere. Here we go. Okay, the moving stuff will go over here. It feels really weird to be back in Minnesota, you guys. Like, it just feels so strange. Um, I've said this in a previous video, but I don't feel like anywhere feels like home any longer. And it's like, it's not a bad thing. It's just a thing. It's just like how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, it's just so weird being back here. But I have to say there are a lot more opportunities in like the Minneapolis St. Paul area than there ever was in Fargo. Fargo is very much like a small town with different attitudes, I'll put it that way. Um, I never really felt comfortable there and you know, 
I think this is definitely more the place for me than anywhere else I've lived so far. I would love, love, love to live back in um, North Carolina where I used to live. Oh my gosh, I love that place so much. But um, that's just not in the cards right now, but that's all right. All right, and this little picture of myself and my nephew, I'm gonna put down at the bottom. I actually just saw him the other day, um, but it was still in September, so yeah. He's just a little, little cute little nugget. All right, so that's that. And then down at the bottom here, I'm gonna put this in. I did go to a ludicrous concert. It's kind of in the beginning of the month, but that's okay. I'm still gonna put this in here. Luda. All right, before I forget, I was gonna put in like all these like funny little things um, because we went to the state fair. <laughs> ha 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 Hot dog up here too, because why the heck not? Oh, and here's like a little ice cream cone. We'll put that up there as well. Why not? The state fair is all about the food, you guys. It is all about the food. Even though I didn't have any of that stuff, actually. I didn't even have a soda while I was there. I had a lemonade, and I didn't have a burger, and I didn't have pizza. I didn't have a hot dog. My mom had a hot dog. Um, like a, She actually had like a Prano pup when we were there. I didn't have ice cream or pizza, so yeah. I had a cheese on a stick, that's what I had, because that is like my most favorite thing ever. That's about it. I'm always, I'm always ready for that to happen. And I think this might actually fit right here. Yeah, oops, let's see here. Let's see if I can meet, yep, okay, perfect. This is gonna be good. I wanted to use this, this is from the um, Erin Condren create, motivate, inspire little sticker sample book that um, I don't know if you always get this, but this was sent with my 2017 planner. This is still 2016 and I won't be using my other planner until after the first of the year. So yeah, maybe I'll put this little guy up there. I don't know why I just like to like use up stuff. I'm just, I'm weird like that. And there, I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, oh, I don't want to use it. <laughs> I don't know, use it. All right, and that's the Ludacris concert. I'm gonna grab a little indicator for that. So at the bottom here, I'm just gonna write Ludacris. It was probably one of the most interesting shows I went to in my life. Um, Ludacris randomly came to Fargo. So it was a very interesting crowd of people. I'll just put it that way. And this little musical note is from um, Chrissy Ann Designs, so. But he did play all the old music, which is obviously what everybody wanted to hear, let's be honest. Okay, so that is it for my September memory page. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and I will get back to you. As I said before, I am gonna leave all the links to all the sticker sources that I use down below, as well as all the links to the Polaroid zip and, um, like all of the little replacement papers. So I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little while. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will do one for October as well. And make sure to subscribe. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content for you guys. So I will let you go for now and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.